afraid that, oh my gosh, all people say it. YouTube channel if you're just joining us for the first time I hope by the end of the video you consider subscribing I hope our energy is really quick if this is home hey welcome home welcome home welcome home I'm so glad that you're here again to just join me for this video today honestly speaking I just finished attending a wedding my friend just got married so yeah I dressed up for an online wedding tell me if you would do something like that tell me if you're not i don't think it's weird personally i think it's not weird at all but other people think it's a very weird thing to do so yeah anyway getting into today's video so i wanted to yeah, i was thinking about something the other day and um this thought of online in-laws came to my mind so I will loosely define what online in-laws are in our particular case. Online in-laws are people who have been following us online who know about a relationship that you might have, a romantic relationship that you have with your partner. So if I've been on your Instagram for five years and you've been dating this one man for four and a half years, I technically consider this man to be your husband and many other people in this very same boat consider him to be the very same thing. Them and I alike. So now the thing with online in laws guys is um when you post pictures with your boyfriend and all that. Uh, when you post pictures with your boyfriend and your girlfriend and all that, there's I, I definitely don't understand this whole concept of hiding your man or hiding your woman. It's actually women who do this mostly. Like, why would you hide your man from us? <laughs> this thing of moving in silence is so dangerous. Most of the times, you're dating someone's man and you don't even know it. And there you are, moving in silence. Hey! This moving in silence thing, guys, it is dangerous. I've tried it. I know how the story goes. I dated someone's boyfriend. And when we broke up, well, when we stopped talking, he was even talking about marrying that woman. So this thing of moving in silence, it's just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't. But anyway, so here's a reason why some people just don't want to post their partner. It's because of online in-laws. Online in-laws kind of say, oh, we require an explanation when you guys separate. Which I don't think they do actually need to get reason being you don't owe anyone any explanation if i post it's out of my own desire to post if i don't post it's out of my own desire not to post but for you to not post your man or your woman because you are afraid that when you break up people are going to be like oh what happened stay with the person whom you know you've just like your relationship is not working anymore but then at the back of your mind you are scared of oh my gosh what will people say and you know what come to think of it it might not just be online anyway it might be just people you know like at your church or like your office your school places where you hang out like you're afraid that oh my gosh if we break up what will people say because you guys were kept technically acting like you were engaged and um i just really want to give this as a sign to someone if you were looking for a sign as to whether to move on from your relationship which is clearly not working because deep down you know it's not working but then you're just so frustrated about people roasting you and asking you what happened and laughing at you whether it's behind your back or in your face and you just don't know like oh my gosh what then am i supposed to do this is your sign you can let this relationship go. You can let it go despite the fact that people knew about you or did not. The fact that people knew about you is, or people have expected you guys to get married for the longest of time is not reason enough for you to stay in a relationship, especially if it's a relationship you have discerned your way out of. If there's a relationship you feel like, hey, you know, we're not going anywhere and I, I'm just, I've had it, I've had it. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to live your best life because like we said in the last video about waiting for your past like we mentioned how god has seen you and identified you as the guardian if you like god has seen that of all the people he had given your life to you're the most perfect person to give this life to and since you're the most perfect person god has decided to give your life to you owe it to yourself to live out as as fully as you possibly can in a wholesome manner and so what's the point of being with the person or staying in a relationship where you know, ah, hey, 
We have not lived. Uh, we have not lived the the. Uh, we have not lived the. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. When you know that your relationship has just outlived, it's it's run the cost of its time, and it's just time to go. And you don't want to let it go because you are afraid of online in-laws and other people. Hey, like you will suffer some more. You definitely will be suffering a lot more than if you just walked out of it. Because that's the thing when you get married, it's just it's you and that relationship. It's not us who are just out here looking at you. So if you marry someone you don't you know you don't like as much anymore let alone love just because people have seen you guys together and you guys have been proposing your love to each other online and all that stuff and then you choose to stay in that relationship because you think oh everybody kind of knows about us already ah <laughs> you will be in problems and you know what the worst thing is people don't care like people don't care you will break up with your man or your girlfriend today we will be like, oh my gosh, they broke up. And they will get over it. But like, if you marry someone you don't like, and then it's for our sake, and then 10 years from now, oh, let alone five years, five years from now, you are suffering in your marriage. Yeah, and you're posting every picture. So we'll be like, eh, 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 this marriage is, like, this marriage is moving. Let's keep it moving, y'all. So there's no, like, we won't even care whether you're being beaten or not beaten, whether you're crying yourself to sleep or whether you're doing whatever you're doing, like just dealing with your pain. But the point is to stay in a relationship because of what people will think or what, what will people say. It's just the, the flimsiest reason. I think that's the most polite I can go. It's the flimsiest reason to stay in a relationship. So like you don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it to yourself. You don't even need... Because, like, you're deceiving us. At the end of the day, you're actually being deceptive. You're deceiving us. Not only are you being deceptive, you are living a lie. And, like, that's not the life God has made for you. That's not the life God has called you to. God has called you to live a life which is full of honesty. And if you're sticking with your man because of what he can give you or because of what people will say you're being a lie you're living a lie with your life you're using your life to tell a lie which is just man that's settling that that's just settling you're you're settling you're using your life to just settle <laughs> i hope this video has reached out to someone or two if it helped you wait a minute if you're enjoying this video at this point make sure you give it a thumbs up if yeah yeah and let me know what you've learned let, let me know what you've learned in the comment section i hope you get strength to leave your bad relationship which you have um outgrown or overstayed your welcome and you're just afraid that oh my gosh all people say i hope god gives you strength to pull out of it because indeed you don't deserve that you don't not at all not one bit you do not deserve it you don't deserve it yeah <laughs> see you in my next video please feel free to go through my other videos and give them a big thumbs up let me know in the comment section what other videos you'd like to see if i haven't done one already I haven't done a rendition of it like something similar to it but yeah bye